If you're rebuilding an aged domain and a few of the URLs don't have dashes or spaces and the words run together like slash everything is together, should you 301 them to a new URL pass that have the dashes? Or it's not that big of a deal. There was only a few of them. Um, so uh, I, I would just say go ahead and change them and then 301 uh, the old ones to the new ones. Uh, it's just kind of a, a best practice. I don't know how much of a difference it'll really make to be, to be fairly honest with you. Uh, it's just something I always do. Uh, and, 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 you know, when you, when you're, when it's on your website and you're just 301 ing the, the old URL to the new URL, uh, you know, 301s when you're doing it like that work, work very differently from when, uh, say you have an old domain and you're 301 ing a URL on the old domain to the, to the URL on the new domain, where it can be kind of iffy if it's going to work or not. The 301s on your own site, they just, they just, they just work, right? Um, uh, so you, I wouldn't really, really worry about losing any kind of link juice or anything like that. You could you could make the change pretty easily. Just you know you could just completely copy the page and then um, uh, use a plugin or whatever the three I wanted if you want. What do you have to say on that, Nick? Yeah, no, I would agree with you. Go ahead and switch them up. Um, I actually think you know from just like a technical standpoint, it would probably help you in the SERPs or at yeah. least you know. Because if it's all running together like that, you've got to imagine that these crawlers, you know, they're just robots digesting data. Yeah, and especially when we talk them. about language and how it's, you know, normally written, et cetera. Now, you, you come across blogs, you know, where people run words together, there's different slang, et cetera. Um, but it's not going to be too common that I think that exists in the um, permalink structure. And then on top of that, you know, it's just, um, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be less confusing overall. Um, so yeah, best practice, just uh, go ahead and you know do it do it right. It's not gonna take you too much time, and it's gonna be worthwhile. Yeah, it's also good for users on your site too. You know, um, yeah. But we'll go ahead and look at what Google has to say about this. I'd already pulled this up, and um, so let's see here. Uh, blah 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 blah. Let's consider using punctuation in URL. So it says that they actually recommend using hyphens. They actually do not recommend letting them run together, like he was mentioning in his question. Um, and yeah, so you know the reasoning up here at the top is a site's URL structure should be as simple as possible. Consider organizing your content so that URLs are constructed logically in a manner that is most intelligible to humans. Um, blah, blah, blah. I thought they said something else. I thought they said something about what you were talking about, how it just makes it easier for the bots to read. I don't know where I read that, but I did read it somewhere. Um, one other thing I saw when I was looking on here real quick, it says that they recommend not using underscores and to use hyphens instead. Um, I don't really know why, but you know, if Google's telling you to do it like this and it's not that big of a deal and it's easy to do and there's basically nothing to lose by doing it. I would just go ahead and do it and then make it uh, just part of your process, uh, you know, moving forward. Yeah. Not really a big deal. Yeah, I mean, you know, can imagine this, right? Like if a bot is going to crawl um, backslash everything is together like that, right? How many different words are in there um, that a bot could read and then kind of put together different ways, then assume that there's, you know, maybe slang involved, et cetera. It's just going to be confusing. Like, you know, we're not talking about sentient problem solving beings here. We're talking about a dumb robot that's crawling and sorting data. Um, yeah, it, it, like it says up here, um, you know, it's going to be easier for it to digest. So. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check the description below for links to our blog for more info on this topic, along with a bunch of other cool stuff like case studies, our Facebook community and our link building services. And like always, remember to like, comment, subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you enjoyed the video. Thanks and happy ranking.